friends, today we're going to be learning about how to read a nonfiction text and how to answer questions about it. So the story we're going to read today is Sea Otters. Okay, and so remember when we read a nonfiction book, the first thing we should always do is go to the glossary before we start reading. So I'm going to go to the very back of the book because that's where I can find my glossary in the very back and read the words and their definitions so that I can better understand my reading. So in this book, I'm going to need to know the word groom, which is to clean by scrubbing, licking, or biting. Kelp, a kind of large seaweed that has a long stalk. It can grow into underwater forests. Mammal, an animal that feeds its baby milk. It has a backbone and it's warm blooded. Pollution, dangerous material that makes water, air, or soil dirty. Okay, so now that I have looked at my glossary and I've read those words, I can go and start reading the text. Okay, so this book is called Sea Otters. Okay, remember nonfiction books, they typically have table of contents. Okay, and so for example, if I want to learn about how they hunt, I could go to the section called Built for Hunting on page 10, and that's where I would learn about it. If I wanted to maybe learn about what they eat, okay, there is a title called Snack Time on page 12, and so I guarantee that's probably going to be about what they eat, okay? So that is how we can use our table of contents. It tells us what page to go to, okay? So when we are reading, there's also other important things like headings, okay? The headings tell us what this page or pages are going to be about. So it's a sea otter. What dives and plays in the water all day? What floats on its back when it eats a snack? What has a flat tail but is not a whale? A sea otter. What is a sea otter? Sea otters are mammals. They live in the cold Pacific Ocean. Otters are fun to watch. They like to play with each other. They dive and splash. Now, something else that is really important when you are reading nonfiction texts is to look at the pictures. The pictures are going to help you to better understand the details. Okay, so if we look here, they, this page was talking about that they were in the Pacific Ocean. So it showed us um, a picture of the, the world and it labeled the Pacific Ocean. And here you can see a sea otter swimming in it. Okay, and also it had our, our word from the glossary, mammal. Okay, an animal that feeds its baby milk. It has a backbone and is warm blooded. Okay, this picture also has a caption or a label and it says sometimes sea otters live in zoos or aquariums. They might have been hurt or sick in the wild. Otters get help there. Okay, so that helps me to understand this picture because we learned here that they lived in the Pacific Ocean, but then here we see them in water that is not the Pacific Ocean. And this caption explained what that picture is, right, and helps us to better understand about sea otters. Life in the sea. Sea otters live close to shore. They find small animals to eat there. Sea otters dive to the ocean floor. They swim through kelp forests. They need lots of food and clean water to live. Okay, so we learned what kelp was, right, from the glossary, so we know that it can grow into forests. And here, this picture helps us to better understand that. We can see that now. Okay, we can also see that the otter is diving down to get that, and that's exactly what the text told us. So pictures are just as important as the words when it comes to reading nonfiction text. text. Built for hunting. A sea otter's body is perfect for hunting in the water. Okay, now look here. All of these captions or labels are going to help us to better understand how the otter is built for hunting, right? And that's what this section is all about. So its tail, its tail, it helps to steer the otter through the water. The back legs are webbed like flippers. They help the otter swim and dive. The fur, it's um, thick and it keeps him warm. Front paws, they feel and grab for food. Their mouth, they have sharp teeth that tears and bites the food. Their nostrils, their nose, right? Um, it, it, they close underwater to keep the water out, so that's how they can swim underwater. Their eyes, they have good eyesight that helps them to find food. And their body, a long body helps the otter glide through the water. And they are really cool to watch them glide through the water if you've ever seen them at an aquarium or a zoo. Snack time. So here we're going to find all about what they eat. Okay. Sea otters eat small animals. They eat more than 40 different kinds. They munch on clams, crabs, squid, urchins, and other animals. Sea otters have favorite foods just like you. Okay. So here they told us what they eat. And these pictures are going to help us to better understand because now we know what they look like. 
right? And so there's a scallop, a sea urchin, a crab, a squid, and a shrimp, all things that the sea otters like to eat. Sea otters eat their meals above water. They lie on their backs. They use their stomachs as plates, but they don't use a knife and a fork. Sea otters use rocks to crack open hard shells. Okay, this picture really helps us to understand the text because we can see that he is using the rock to crack open that hard shell, right? And it even says a sea otter cracks open the shell to eat the animals inside, right? Here, this picture, it also helps us to understand better how they eat because it talked about them lying on their backs to eat. And that's exactly what this picture is showing. So just to re remind you, pictures are just as important as the words. Scrub-a-dub. Do you like to stay clean? Sea otters do. They groom themselves for hours every day. They scrub their faces and bodies with their paws. They also somersault, twist and turn. This washes food, scrap, food scraps off their bodies. Their fur must stay clean to be warm. Okay, and here we have another label. So remember, you always have to read all those little parts too. Um, and so the word groom, which we learned from the glossary, is to clean by scrubbing, licking, or biting. And we also learned, this picture is helping us to show that they did twists and turns to help them groom themselves. Fuzzy fur is our next heading. It's hard to stay warm in cold water, but sea otter's fur is up to the job. It is thicker than any other animal's fur. The fur has two layers. The outside layer keeps the cold water out. The inside layer stays warm and dry. So here, this was all about their fur, and of course this picture is helping us to better understand about their fur. Six cool facts about sea otters. One, sometimes sea otters hold hands. Well, paws, oh, look how cute. Two, sea otters can hold their breath for about five minutes. Most people can't do this for more than one minute. And so this sea otter is going to get some food and holding its breath. Three, they are members of the weasel family. So this is showing you a weasel so that you know what that looks like. Four, they eat 10 pounds or more of food each day. This gives them the energy to swim and hunt. So here's some shrimp, right? And they eat about 10 pounds of food. That's a lot. Five, they are the smallest sea mammals in the world. And six, sea otters have their own pockets. They put food in a pouch under each front leg while hunting. And so this is showing you their front legs and this is showing you the pouches that they have and where they put their food while they are hunting. Playful pups. So this whole section, this heading is telling us that it's gonna be about their babies. Baby sea otters are born in the water. They are called pups. Pups are about two feet long at birth. That's about as long as two cereal boxes. And we can't forget our labels at the bottom. A mother often floats with her pup on her chest. And this picture is showing the mother floating with the pup on her chest. The mother teaches her pup how to swim, dive, and roll. But she does the hunting until the pup is older. A mother may wrap her pup up in kelp when she dives. Then the pup will stay in one place while she is away. And that is showing the baby otter wrapped in kelp because they don't want, the mother doesn't want him to or her to float away. Taking it easy. Sea otters live in groups called rafts. The groups are usually all boys or all girls. They spend lots of time together. They rest, groom, and eat. And so this is showing you, these pictures are showing you Right? They're groups called rafts. Otter rafts often wrap themselves in kelp too. They may sleep like this side by side. Watch, watching out for otters. Scientists are busy studying sea otters. They want to know how otters live and eat. They want to learn about otters that have gotten sick or hurt too. They can help. It says a scientist weighs a sea otter at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. So they're learning more in this picture, is showing how scientists learn more. Scientists do know that pollution hurts sea otters. Keeping pollution out of the ocean helps sea otters stay healthy. This sea otter was rescued from an oil spill. People helped clean and care for him. What in the world? These pictures show close-up views of sea otter things. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the pictures. So this is just a fun little page. So, 
if we were to talk about this book, we could say that the main topic of this book was obviously sea otters, and the title of a book is always, always, always going to help you know kind of what that main topic is, right? And this, so the main topic was sea otters, and all about sea otters, right? And remember, we saw the different text features. It had, right, it had the headings, it had the table of contents, it had the glossary in the back, right? had captions. So when you are reading nonfiction text, don't forget about all these things. Okay, see you later. Bye.